I'm gonna do a video that I should have done a long time ago. So you're gonna see it now. Now we actually have time. The wife don't mind being on camera anymore. She's behind me. She's like, nah, she, maybe she don't want to be on camera. But uh, at Spoonbill, we went fishing with Matt Sanders. He goes by Matt Sanders Outdoors here on YouTube, but he invited us down to go spoonbilling earlier in the season and uh, had a blast. So here's some footage from that. Matt cleaned the fish for us a little bit and then I brought them home and I had to soak them. I soaked them probably three days or so. And uh, pretty much they are really oily. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna cook some up. My wife started already. I just got home from work. So I'll get in there here in a second. I just wanna show you guys Koi. You don't want to be in the picture? No, I don't. <laughs> I might break the camera. <laughs> Okay. You didn't really use a machete, huh? fish you played with that? A lot. <laughs> Alright, we're back. The wife says, uh, you can talk. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna try this. Here's what we got. We got some rolls, some stuff here that I don't want to eat. Just kidding. What is that? It's gonna be good. Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah, Brussels sprouts. With garlic bacon. Eat your greens, kids. And then it was healthy until this block of butter. Yep. Correct? Mm -hmm. Here's our pan for our spoonbill. Here is some spoonbill chunks. I basically came home with gigantic fillets, cut off a lot of the red meat, and then cut them up into chunks and put them in gallon sacks. You didn't get to see that part, but here we go. Still no countertops. Looks like next month, August yeah. 12th or something like that. I'm excited. Got some rice. I don't want none of that. That's no bueno. Okay. What did you do with the seasoning? And here we go. Oh, you're gonna use that. Here's what we're rolling with. Check it out. If you ain't got it, get it. Check it out. Duck's website. D-U-X, ducks. So I feel like you need to do some of the chopping and stuff. What? You, you wanna do that? No. How can I hold the camera and chop at the same time? Doesn't that have a little pedestal on there? No. They don't wanna see me chop. Yeah. So They wanna see a pro do it. 
for this we only want the whites of the shallots no green if you can help it and you only want to use about half of this so maybe we might have to have a, a fourth of a cup we actually have countertops. <laughs> you're gonna saute them fresh garlic you want to save out some of those shallots for the top fresh parsley in there. And about a fourth a cup of fresh lemon juice. Seeds in there, I'm gonna have to get out because I don't have my thing. I have to buy, buy, have buy blinds for that window. Why? It's glaring for. Is it? Just for stuff like this. And you can prepare this over here if you want. I already sprayed the pan for you. I'm just going to put it in there and we're going to put this duck's all meat seasoning. And it's kind of got spice to it, so. You definitely got some kick. I'm going to just sit up there. Oh, oh no. Man down. Fix your step here. You ain't ready to with the truck. No, you're right. Okay, well, it's there. all over with now. No, you're not. You gotta season it. Oh. Hold it. Now, that this is a little spicy, so. Lots. I've seen your little bit of pepper over here. You just dumped a whole bunch of pepper. Yeah, but. Flair, how much should I put? I don't even know. Is that too much? I don't know. There you go. We're That's good. good. Okay. I need some instructions. So those Brussels sprouts need to go in the oven. And I grab those. Actually, that's a fun idea. <coughs> the oven. And we're going to add cream to this. Just look at it. The texture is going to be kind of a uh, pork kind of texture. seasoned up right and the kicker here is just a little bit of Dijon mustard it's like the right consistency it's to smell good. this is basically just a one pot you could do this in the microwave technically how much do you think it's gonna take for to bake the fish it's gonna take 35 to 45 minutes okay If you wanted to, you could just put all your cream and all your ingredients right in the microwave, melt it, pour over your fish, and put it in the oven, and it'd take you be a 10-minute meal, bake it. Good. Mm -hmm. 
So that's going over the fish. And it's going to go right, right over. Oh, this is really good served over mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Where's the mashed potatoes? I ain't got time for that. Why not? Oh, you're going swimming. Yeah. She's in a hurry to go to the pool, so I'm cutting into her pool time. Put a couple lemons on top. Yeah. More pepper. For looks. Mm-hmm. Okay. Plus, so I like it spicy. Bit. In the oven, uncovered. Bake it. Time off. Must go ahead and go 30 and check yeah. it. Sweet. We are cooking. Okay. All right, here we go. Wife jumped the gun a little bit. She's got her plated, but here we are. <laughs> I said, hey, wait a minute, we were supposed to pull it out of the oven. But it does look good. Mm. These are our fancy plates. <laughs> when you don't have a sink, you, uh, you don't want to dirty too many dishes. So, But it's coming. The remodel is almost complete. We got a under the stair storage and all that stuff, so. I'm excited yeah. to try it. All right, Lex, you ready to try it? Mm -hmm. Oh, tripping over dog. Come on. Those are good. You look good. Yeah. Brussels broth are definitely good. You can, but there's already lemon. You know, I like salt on mine. She just ate that for the camera. No, that's a pretty good. Is it? All right. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's oh yeah, the egg is the way to go. You hot? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well. I definitely should have put the... No uh, lemon. No lemon for me. Should have put uh, <laughs> some cayenne on it. Ooh, that would be good. Mm -hmm. Make it spicy. Mm -hmm. Pass. Man, this is pretty good. Oh yeah, that was the way to do it. I definitely want some spice. On your fish? We we put... Um, ducks on there. Ducks on there, which is really good. The, uh, but it's not quite spicy enough for me. Sometimes spoonbill can go either way. It's either gonna be like pork, or it's gonna be like uh, salmon, real fishy. So it's like pretty good. It's very good. I like it better this way than I do smoked. Yeah, put some ice on there. Just a little bit of cayenne. Very. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. It tastes good. It doesn't take very much of this at all. Just a little bit. For kick. Yeah. Wanna get her? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really good. That cream with it is really good. Alright guys. Let me know what you think of this video. Comment in the bottom what you want to see. Help me out here. Help give me some ideas. Uh, gonna be doing some more crawdad trapping and stuff. So you ain't even on the camera no more. Mm -hmm. That's wide. It could probably see me right here. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yep. Awesome. I didn't think I'd like Brussels. <laughs> oh, they're really good. Like this. Oh, kind of Look at how flaky it is. Just like pork almost. It tastes like cabbage. Mm-hmm. Dang, that's good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment.